today we are doing another Wheel of Time Wednesday sim creation. This is Lean Sedai, who is the uh, keeper in the show. God, I just lost my train of thought completely. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the actress too. Like, uh, I'm sorry, it's late. I've had a lot of candy because it is the day that I decorated my house for Halloween, and I'm a little, a little off, but. Yeah, that, whatever her name is, she is absolutely frickin' stunning. She has the coolest nose that I've ever seen in my life. Like, she's just beautiful and statuesque and just, in a show of very beautiful, interesting looking women, like, she's really cool looking. And I wanted to recreate, like, as soon as I saw her nose and profile, I'm like, well, that's happening. But I put it off because I was a little nervous that I wasn't going to be able to do her justice. But after I did Leandra and I'm like, all right, I gotta try it. I gotta do Lean, it's fine. Which I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. Like I always pronounce it Lean, but then like, it could be Leanne, I don't know. They say Lean, I think. I'm still very happy with the finale. I'm, I actually just watched it again with my partner. He's not a book reader, but he's been watching the show with me. And it's interesting to get like the perspective of somebody who doesn't have all background. Although I talk through the whole thing and that's how he prefers it. He, he says he likes the DVD commentary because he doesn't watch a lot of shows and he likes, typically he likes shows that are only like episodic rather than arc. So he forgets kind of who's who and what's going on. So, and I can't shut up. So <laughs> yeah, I did not have the right hair for her. This is about as close as I could get. She either has like this low, low, low ponytail or like this low braid looking thing. But then the last few episodes, she's got like this bulked up updo and I just didn't have the right hair. So I settled for this one. It's close enough. It again, it has like fringy bits. Most of the, I'm discovering a lot about my CC preferences because most of the hairs I have have some sort of fringe or something going on. I don't have a lot of slicked back looks. I'm definitely gonna be using this sim somewhere. I don't know where or when or I don't know, but I'm definitely gonna be using her because she's just cool looking. It might be fun to actually use her in my Medieval Color Legacy Challenge, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm a long ways away from spouses at this point, so. Yeah, that's basically it. Dog training's going well, since apparently that's what I talk about now. Still not house trained, but like we're working on it. Crate training, he took to really, really well. He just, he won't go outside the dog door. I don't understand it. I think it has something to do with my other dog because she'll sit and wait for him. And like, if I grab a hold of her and move her away from the door and I'm outside as well, he'll go. But like, even if I'm holding onto her, he will not go outside on his own volition. Like he just won't do it. So I'm struggling with how to incentivize my dog to go outside by himself. Which is frustrating because now the cat's going out by outside by himself. I had no idea, and then I happened. I have a camera ever since he escaped. I have a camera on the dog door, and I just happened to look at it. I haven't looked at the notifications because I get them every time my dog goes inside and out. And I happened to look at it because I thought maybe the puppy was going through. No, it's my cat. He waits until early morning when he knows we're not awake, and he goes and just sits on the concrete. <laughs> Like he doesn't go anywhere, but I'm just like, you are not supposed to be outside. You do not have survival skills. We put these extra strength magnets on the dog door. Our dog door looks like MacGyver touched it to keep him from going outside after he escaped there one time. And I watched him do it. Like he puts all four paws basically on the, the wall next to the door, grabs a hold of the door with his teeth and just like pulls, <laughs> just like brute forces it open. He's a barbarian. I can't handle it. So the, I have no problems with the cat going out, but the puppy, no. The opposite, the exact opposite of what I want happening. But anyways, we are almost done with this sim. I 100% did not have the right outfit for her. All these costumes are kind of futuristic, kind of medieval. There was no way, there was no way. Uh, Damani dresses don't exist in my game. If somebody makes them, I would absolutely download them, but I did my best. So yeah, let me know what you think of this sim. If you've watched the series, let me know what you think of it so far. I'm dying to talk about it with anyone and everyone. And yeah, if you liked the video, please give it a like, and I'll see you in the next one.